Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. What was that? Did you see my hand? I was like, hey everyone, like I was like gripping a bug or something. Who knows? All right, today's video is going to be a really fun one. All my videos are fun. But this especially is, as I like toot toot my own horn, I'm like, this video is going to be fun. My videos are fun. But this one I especially was really excited to film because I, as you all know, if you follow my, you know, channel and blog, and I am the one eyeshadow one swipe shadow gal. I love one shadow to kind of do it all. I mean, I'm not wearing one shadow today. I'm actually wearing a few, but on the whole, I tend to love to just grab one shadow, put it on my lid and run out the door. I know there's like this whole movement of like really crazy, intricate makeup. And that's wonderful. And for a lot of people love to put that kind of time in. I have done that kind of look and I can do that kind of look, but I find that you can still get a very polished look with one shadow. So I thought that'd be fun to pull together my favorite solo shadows. And I do have, you know, colors in palettes and things that I like, but I did find a good amount of single shadows that I really love and enjoy using. And I thought I would kind of pull it all together in one video. I'm going to try to do some swatches and hope that my hands don't get on my beige silk blouse or my arms don't get on my beige silk blouse but we're gonna do the best that we can all right I have some cream ones here and I have some powder ones here what should we start with let's start with cream like I'm asking you guys if you can like tell me um, all right so let's start first with a Tom Ford shadow Let me show you here this is the Tom Ford shadow cream shadow in platinum so I really adore this shadow I am kind of hit or miss with some Tom Ford products. I know some people are like, just like die hard for his products. I'm always hit or miss. Sometimes I like his products, sometimes I don't. But people said amazing things about his cream shadows. So I was like, all right, I will try it. And this is the shade Platinum and it's absolutely beautiful. It's just like a taupey brown, which is totally my jam. It lasts all day. It doesn't, it does a little bit of creasing, maybe, you know, if I've had it on super long, but it really doesn't do a ton of creasing. I just think the, sh the shade is so pleasing to the eye. It really looks good on a bunch of different skin tones. And I adore it. Um, I don't know if he makes this permanently. I think he may, I haven't checked in a while, but if I can find it, if it is permanent, I'll obviously link it below. All right, next let's go keep going with the cream eyeshadow. So the Armani Eye Tint in number nine. If you guys followed me on my trip that I did for the four weeks, you guys know that I wore this almost every single day. It is such a beautiful, beautiful formula. I was worried that it would be way too shimmery or whatever, but it is just a beautiful formula. They're almost identical. I mean, that's how crazy I am. But in my mind, they're different. And I just love applying this. It's very easy. I just kind of blend it with my finger. It's actually easier, I find, to apply than the Tom Ford. And it's a little bit more sheer. It is, and a little bit more emollient. So it kind of moves around, whereas the Tom Ford, like, literally is already dried. And this one will stay a little bit wetter, though I don't find it creases. I mean, it doesn't stay wet throughout the day, but it does stay wet longer than something like the Tom Ford. But that number nine is just absolutely beautiful. Every time I wear it on Snapchat or in a picture on Instagram, people always ask me what it is. And it's just such a kind of a pleasant color. There's a little theme here. I like pleasant colors that just kind of are easy to wear, but it can be day or night. You know, these products can be, you can smoke that out with a dark liner, like right around the um, top of your lashes and the bottom of your lashes, tons of mascara, make that a nighttime thing. All right, Charlotte Tilbury. These are actually my favorite cream eyeshadows of all time. So her cream eyeshadows are my favorite formula. I think they are the best. This is the shade uh, Marie Antoinette. And this literally looks identical. I mean, you guys are going to be like, how many shades do you have of the same color? As many as I want. <laughs> That's the great thing about being an adult, right? You can just justify so many colors of so many, you know, same shades. But I mean, those are literally all looks identical. <laughs> I have a feeling all of these are going to look identical, but whatever. And I just love the pigmentation. I love, you know what, they have a more of a whipped kind of moussey texture that I really enjoy. And I think look, 
are easier to blend, they last longer, and the pigmentation's a little bit better. So if I had to pick out of all three, ooh, Charlotte Tilbury and Armani kind of, kind of go back and forth. I do really love both of them. All right, another cream eyeshadow is Stila, the Smudge Pot in Kitten. Well, the, if you guys know Stila makeup, you know Kitten is one of her classic shades. It was first a powder shadow. I'm so glad they made it into a cream. These are hard to find, though, the Smudge Pots. I got to be honest. Um, I think they sell it on her site. It is the most beautiful kind of easy to wear champagne color, like a rose gold champagne. It's really, really pale. You can almost hardly see it, but I love it to give a little bit of like light to the eyes, especially if you're doing like a bold lip, it can look really beautiful. Just have that champagne rose gold color on the lid. And this is the driest of all the textures, but I think it's a really, I just, I mean, she just killed it with kitten. She just, did such a good job when she came up with that color. It was, it is truly the most perfect champagne rose gold that's out there. All right. Uh, newer one that I just have shown is the Chantecaille cream eyeshadows. This is the one seashell. Um, it's a weird, it is kind of creamy, kind of powdery. It's like the most unique kind of texture, but a little bit more gold, though it does skew a little gray on the eyes. I know they're like, they're getting lighter and lighter. You can barely see them on my eyes or my, on my arm. But I have um, used the Chantecaille in a tutorial. So you can obviously reference that and see what it looks like on the eyes. But I definitely think that it is a beautiful, beautiful shade. All right, cream eyeshadows, cream eyeshadows got, okay, one more. And the, another Armani one, and it's the Eyes to Kill. So these are intensely shimmery. I have it in the shade number six that I wanted to talk about. And this one is kind of a, a brownish olive. And that's what I love about it. It's definitely a little bit deeper and definitely a little bit um, darker. But I think that it, really it's showing up really really light because of my lighting here but it actually is quite a deep shade you can imagine I mean, you're doing a swatch on your arm but you can imagine on a smaller surface area like your lid the color is going to you know really um, deepen up and look a lot darker especially on a smaller surface area but I really love this shade like I said it's number six and I'll link all of these down below in the description box in order of how I've discussed them a lot of people talk about the Armani Eyes to Kill being too shimmery. They are really, really shimmery. I'm not going to lie. But I don't find them too shimmery for wearing during the day. I think they are actually a, a great shadow to wear during the day. And, you know, if I look at Kitten, Kitten actually looks a little bit more shimmery to me. There is a little bit of fallout with this when you're applying it. It's like a hybrid again. It's like a cream and powder kind of all mixed together. All right. Let's move on to powder shadows. I'm going to do maybe one more or two here and then we'll move on to this arm. Okay, I pulled out an old classic and this is a Mac and Woodwinked. So I saw this in my collection a few weeks ago and I was like, why have I not worn that? This is one of my favorite um, powder brown eyeshadows of all time. Like I have been wearing Woodwinked for so many years and it's just this gorgeous reddish bronze brown kind of it's like if reddish bronze and gold had a baby it would make woodwinked and it's just such a oh you see that red that reddish gold oh so yes love it and it's this it's the velux texture I'm like if i'm like trying to wipe my fingers off here i have some wipes here too all right let me see get myself clean here it's one of their velux textures and the Velux Pearl, which is a really kind of buttery, rich texture, which I enjoy that they make. And Woodwinked has been around for like ever, and it's still one of their most popular shadows in that texture. Okay, now moving on, Burberry. Two shades by them. One of them is the all famous, super popular Pale Barley. I have worn this in tutorials before and absolutely just think this is one of the best shades ever. 
it is matte with just a hint of sheen. And the hint of sheen is really just good at giving it dimension, you know? Um, it's hard, you know, because the swatches, like I said, are, they're across my arm, so the, you know, like a larger surface area for them to cover, so they don't look as dark, but they definitely give a much more um, darker payoff when on the lid, but not, you know, dark enough where you can't wear it during the day. I think that Pale Barley is one of those classic shades where you could be a stay-at-home mom. You could have kind of a more creative, non-traditional job like I do. You could work in an office like I did for many years. You could, anything that you could possibly think of and any lifestyle could probably wear Pale Barley because I just, sorry, I got an itch. Like I always have like an itch right around like my nose and my lips and that kind of thing. I don't want to like, get any makeup on it. Okay. I find that it's just such an easy color to wear and it looks good on so many people. And I also like that it can be, you can dress it up with like a red lip for night or you could wear it with just some gloss for during the day. Another Burberry shade that I really enjoy is Shell. So this is, I think they're wet dry textures. I'm gonna move arms. I'm like getting down to my elbow. And this is their wet dry texture. So dry, it's definitely obviously more powdery and it's gonna give a decent amount of coverage. Much like Kitten, it's that champagne rose gold. And, but when you wet it, it's definitely a lot, you know, stronger. And let me show you again. But I think it is such a gorgeous, gorgeous, especially for the summer. The shade looks absolutely beautiful with like a real bronzy makeup look. I can really see that being beautiful with tons of mascara. Oh, oh, almost fell off my table here. All right, another shade that is newer to me, but I talked about a few times before, and it's the Dior Solo in Cosmopolite. So this shade, I purchased two. I purchased this in Minimalism. Minimalism just did not rock my world the way Cosmopolite did. Ooh, that color is... This has some pigmentation that I don't know yet. Yeah, similar to the ones I like, look at that. Clearly I have a type, but this one is so beautiful, so buttery, so rich. And it has kind of a little bit of a taupey brown mixed with a little bit of rose gold. Um, and really beautiful, very, very shimmery though. I actually find it to be more shimmery than let's say even the Armani Eyes to Kill. So this may be shimmery, too shimmery for some people, depending on you know what your lifestyle is and what you're looking for. All right, this one, NARS Pacife and the dual intensity, look at that, that green brown duochrome. You guys know this was my best of beauty. This shade is insane. Oops, it's like a little powdery, but I love it because it is so, unique. Look at that duochrome. Absolutely stunning. And you know what I love about it is, first of all, it will work for any skin tone, but it's going to look different on every single skin tone, which I think is so cool. It reminds me, if you are a MAC, you know, makeup person, it reminds me of antique gold. Is it antique gold? The pigment? Um, there's one that's like a duochrome that looks like this and it really um, is so beautiful. All right, I've got three more. Next is the Clinique, the Color Pop. These little, oh, the Lid Pops. This one is in Willow Pop. So this green is the green that you need. It is the most beautiful olive green, but subtle enough. It's not like green, you're not gonna go into work or you're not gonna go about your day and people are gonna be like, hey, green eyeshadow. It's just the most perfect, kind of wearable olive green that is mixed with a little bit of brown. But obviously it's, you know, it's I'm starting to move away from those completely rose gold taupey shades. This is a little bit different, but what I love about it is it's quite sheer, but it can be built up quite nicely. But the it is so buttery and rich, those textures. It almost feels like a cream, but it's not. And there's such a great price point. There's only like $17 compared to some of the other ones. And I just, I have about four of them and I think they are so much fun to use. All right, final 
is my two Gucci solo shadows. You guys know, if you follow me, if you've been following me, if you don't know, I love Gucci solo shadows. I think they are one of my favorite um, formulas of all times. Okay, the two ones that I absolutely swear by, one is Oxidus, and it is a deep bronzy brown. Definitely a little bit of a redder brown. Definitely a little bit of a redder brown. Um, I don't always love a red brown, but I love this Gucci shade. And it does a really good job of lasting all day. That's what really got me about these shadows is the texture is very buttery and rich, but it would last all day. Blends beautifully, goes on very evenly. You can use your finger, you can use a brush. It's just one of the best products that they make. All right, finally, this shade has been one of my all time favorite shades ever and it's Gucci Starlight. This color is, it's very hard to describe because, because it is so unique, but it is kind of just, you know what it is? It's like pale barley, but it has a little bit more shimmer. Where is it here? So it is so, it's like a little bit of nothing almost. It's gonna look like a little bit of nothing. But on the lid, those little bits of nothing, you know, like I've said before, like we're really, I mean, I'm, I'm spreading it over a kind of a large portion of my arm, but on your lid, you're just as a small little area. It's definitely going to deepen up, but it gives just the most perfect bit of definition. So it looks like there's something on your lid. It looks like there's something in your crease, but it's not, let's say like the other Gucci shade Oxidus, which is this one right here, where it's definitely like going to be a lot bolder and it's gonna look like there's something on your lid. But the Gucci Starlight is just so effortless. And that's what I love. Pale, Pale Barley is effortless. The Chantecaille Cream Eyeshadow is effortless. And the Gucci um, Starlight is just effortless. So here they all are. Oh my gosh, how awkward do I look doing this? I'm like, <laughs> looks so ridiculous. But what I will also do is I will swatch them, go out in the sunlight, take some pictures, and um, link those in my blog post so that you can reference them kind of without me moving around on a video and you can reference them in a still photo. And like I said, I will uh, link everything down below in the order that they were mentioned. And I hope this video was helpful and you found some new shadows maybe to test out. And if you use, if you have any solo shadows here that I did mention that you love using, please leave me a comment and let me know what they are. And I will talk to everyone soon. Take care, bye-bye.